What is up y'all? Welcome back to my channel. Today I actually wanted to do like a more informational that my arms look weird. Today I want to do Today I actually wanted to do a more informational video. A few videos ago I got a request to do um, a video on how to promote healthier hair um, and how to grow hair faster, which we'll get to that. Little disclaimer, I'm not a professional. I'm just kind of talking to you guys based on my experiences personally and what things that I've done to promote healthier hair or to help grow my hair out. From my hair journey video, I actually told you guys that I got my hair cut in February of 2017, which was, I'll insert a picture. So I basically have been doing all of these things to grow my hair, get my hair longer, and everything like that. But before we get into the video, make sure that you guys are subscribed to my channel and that you t click the little bell and turn on post notifications so that you guys can be notified when I do post a video. And yeah, leave likes, comments, share, everything like that. And let's get right into the video. So I'm actually gonna give you guys 10 ways on how to promote or how I promoted healthier hair or how I grew my hair out faster, which we'll get into that like I said. The first one, um, I'm pretty sure if you guys have been watching videos like this or seen videos that talk about healthier hair or how to repair damaged hair or how to grow out your hair, number one would be no heat or as little heat as you can. I know that is hard for a lot of people. Coming from somebody who has struggled with damaged hair or straightening my hair all the time, it's definitely not easy to just cut it out and wear your natural hair or wear, it is natural, but wear your curly hair. If you see me looking down, looking at my little notepad, so. it is definitely not easy to go from straightening all the time to natural hair or you know your natural curl pattern or whatever and especially if your hair is damaged and you have like little curly pieces right here or little curly pieces in the back and then in the front it's like all straight you're gonna want to just go ahead and straighten your whole head because it looks so much more presentable which I definitely understand and I want you guys to know I get it I've been through it so yeah number one would be no heat or as little heat as possible Number two would be to trim your ends every now and then. You don't have to go crazy and cut all your hair off, which some people do, which is called the big chop, especially if they have damaged hair, or that's typically what people do when they're um, transitioning from relaxed or permed hair to curly hair. They cut all their hair off, and then they have that little new growth, the little fro or whatever, which is... I definitely recommend because I'd rather walk around with shorter, healthier hair than long hair that's super damaged or already relaxed and straight forever because there is no coming back from a perm or anything. So that goes for transitioning as well, trimming your ends. Um, and when you're transitioning, you also can like grow your hair out and while you're growing your hair out, just trim a little bit at a time so it looks like... It doesn't really look like you're cutting anything because when your hair is growing, you're just trimming. So it looks like it's staying the same length, which would be kind of helpful if you don't want to just go dramatic and cut all your hair off. But if you do have just curls um, and you want to learn how to, or you want to know how to grow your hair faster or how to get it healthier, I would definitely recommend trimming your ends every now and then. Number three would be something that I've seen a lot on YouTube, Instagram, things like that, but I personally have only done it a few times, which would be scalp massages. Now, they say scalp massages typically stimulate the follicles that are in your hair and it promotes hair growth. You can use the oil or anything or do it with your fingers. I know a lot of people are sponsored by Vanity Planet and they have the little scalp um, or shampooing massaging brushes 
that a lot of people use. I personally don't have one. I would show you guys, but I don't have one. But I have, every now and then, I will put oil in my hair or like coconut oils on my finger. I'll typically do it before I'm about to wash my hair. Um, but I'll put a little bit of oil on my fingers or like throughout my scalp. And I'll just kind of like massage and like, you know, some people actually like to flip their heads upside down and then massage their scalp. It's totally up to you. Um, I know there's single video, like individual videos on how to give yourself scalp massages and things like that. Definitely scalp massages will promote hair growing faster. Number four would be taking a supplement or vitamins. I take biotin. which is a um i'm actually just gonna read the back of it it says biotin is a water soluble b vitamin that is involved in the metabolism of protein fats and carbohydrates it also helps support healthy hair skin and nails and then i'm actually taking the biotin with keratin keratin that's amazing and on the back it says keratin helps support the structural integrity of hair skin and nails so biotin helps to support healthy hair and promote healthy hair and things like that. And then keratin just helps to strengthen. So while taking this, I'm going to give you guys my personal opinion. I've taken biotin, a different brand of biotin before, and it broke me out terribly. I don't know if it, I was just going through breakouts or anything, but taking this, brand I have not gotten a single pimple I've noticed my hair has gotten a bit thicker um maybe even longer honestly I know I have my hair up right now so you can't really tell but it has definitely helped my hair I can say I haven't been taking it that that long not even there are 60 tablets in here you're supposed to take one per day and that's about two months so I haven't even been taking it for two months yet but I've seen a little bit of a change in my hair. So yeah, I would definitely consider taking a supplement or biotin. Oh, that is a supplement. Taking biotin or you know another vitamin. I know they have like hair infinity pills and there are some other ones out there. I'm just, I'm not too familiar with them. So I don't want to speak falsely on something. Number five, definitely plays a part with taking a vitamin. Um, drink plenty of water. I'm not the best at this. I do drink a lot of water, but probably not enough or not the amount that I should be drinking. It just makes sense. If you're drinking a lot of water, you're going to feel healthier. Um, what you put in your body is what you get out of it. So if you're drinking a lot of water, then your hair is going to grow more or your hair will be healthier than you drinking soda 24 7 if that makes sense and with taking the biotin you definitely want to up your water intake i don't know it's just you're putting a pill in your system and you need the water to kind of flush it through and that might be why i was breaking out so much before because i wasn't drinking enough water at all i've definitely upped my water intake so yeah drink a lot of water Number six would have to be combing, well, breakage of the hair. What not to do would be when you wear ponytails. So right now, I have this ponytail, it's a white one, I was rushing. I have it around there one time and I just like fluff my hair out. You definitely don't want to wear super tight ponytails all the time or little buns and things like that because when you have that scrunchy, like, you know, you do your ponytails and you scrunch it around a bunch of times, your hair has no room to breathe. And right here, you're going to have that breakage that of the scrunchy, like, pulling on your hair. It's just so tight that your hair can't breathe and it's going to break it. And another part of breakage would be combing. So you definitely want to use a wide tooth comb while combing your hair. And do not, do not comb your hair dry always detangle when you have a conditioner in your hair or a leave-in conditioner or um, a deep conditioner 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 with slip 
um, is your it's going to be your best friend when trying to detangle because it's just think about comb and dry hair. It's not going to happen. You will break your hair. And you want to start from the ends and work your way up while combing. Because just imagine combing from here down and your hair is not detangled. You're going to have breakage. It's going to hurt. It's going to hurt and rip your hair out. So that is a no-no. Always comb with the wide tooth comb if I didn't mention that. Number seven kind of plays a part of the first um, part of number six, which would be like the buns and stuff. Instead of doing little buns and ponytails all the time, do some protective styles. Now, I can probably insert some pictures somewhere around here of some protective styles that I've done. And if you guys want to see like a tutorial on how I how I do a certain there's a certain protective style that is like my go-to protective style. I'll just show that picture right here. But I've had like the twist, the braids, um, all those things before which are protective styles but typically when you get braids and twist, twists and things like that you want to be careful because they are I don't know it if it's too tight on your edges that's not good that's going to cause breakage but if you get like some looser cornrows or like that picture that you guys saw the little like halo um, twist around that I did you definitely want to moisturize and then do that and it just kind of locks it all in and it protects your hair it's cute you can add little jewels to things like that so protective styles are always best number eight would definitely be oils and things like that so a specific oil that i like to use is the jamaican mango and lime jamaican black castor oil It definitely works. I add it to my wash and goes. I add it to like deep conditioning treatments that I'm gonna do. I add it to my protein treatments. So I don't know, it's it's an oil that will thicken your hair. It helps it to become thicker. So using these two at the same time is definitely a good idea because it really does promote healthier, thicker hair. I can honestly say I am a witness, so yeah it's a really good oil and on here it says deeply conditioned makes hair stronger seals moisture um, you can use it as a hot oil treatment um, and it has natural ingredients which is another plus so yeah definitely use oils in your hair moisturize things like that number nine number nine or er, yeah number nine and ten are kind of like wrapping up the video number nine patience is key so I have friends that have hair that grow so fast. I don't know, I feel like my hair is the same length since I've cut it. People tell me they see a difference, but I do not see much of a difference. I don't know, patience is key though. Like you have to be patient. You have to make sure you're doing all of the right things in order to get your hair to grow and become more healthier and um, have more defined curls and things like that. So yeah, you definitely have to be patient. And number 10, we're coming to the end of our video. Number 10 is consistency. Now, you want to do the same thing with your hair. So, for instance, if I wash, condition, and deep condition my hair on Saturdays, I need to be doing that every Saturday. You need to do wash days on the same days. You need to do deep conditions on the same day or the same like amount of time. So for me, I like to wash my hair once a week. Now, other curly girls will wash their hair every two weeks. Everybody's different. But whatever you do, you need to be consistent with it. If you're going to take biotin, you need to be consistent with it. If you are going to not use heat, be consistent with it. Now, every now and then it's not bad, but you just want to be consistent with it. If you're going to do scalp massages, be consistent with it. If you're going to do it on your wash days, do it on your wash days. And then wash your hair, condition, deep condition, and then do your wash and go or whatever. But make sure you do it. If you're going to do it once a week, do it once a week. If you're going to do it twice a week, three times a week. I know people with thicker or um, tighter curls, they tend to like to do wash and goes. 
less often than people that have looser curls. They like to do wash and goes more often, like myself. My hair is kind of in the middle, so the week mark is okay for me. I can go a little bit longer, but like I just told you guys, you gotta be consistent, so I like to stay at that week mark. So yeah, that brings us to the end of our video. If you guys have any questions, make sure to leave them down below. I will reply to you guys. Make sure to follow me on my social media. On Twitter and Instagram, it is forever underscore underscore Simone. So yeah, follow me guys. Leave requests down below. And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you learned um, some things. I really hope it was helpful. I don't know. I've been in you all's place before. If you are watching because you do want to grow your hair out or you do want your damaged hair to go away and you want your curls back, I understand because I was in your place before, definitely. So it takes time. Um, patience, consistency, like I said. Any questions or anything, DM me. Um, if you don't want to leave a comment, if you really have something personal to say, like you can DM me and ask me questions and things like that. I am definitely open to answering them. Hope you guys have a good day. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.